This is the first group of lines from the uh, section 13 from the De Bella Gallico book six. It's the first part of book six that is in the AP syllabus. And here we're talking about the, the nature of the Gauls, their society, and we're gonna focus in on the Druids here in a second. But Caesar starts out in really familiar territory. He says, in all of Gaul, uh, of, of the men, whom, or, or rather who, are literally with or in, but maybe of sounds better, some number and honor, there are two kinds. So let's go back over that. In all of Gaul, there are two kinds of, of, of these men who are of some number and honorable position. For the plebeis, and just to be clear, that the plebeis are not either of these two. So this is, he's talking about, there are two people of high position, high status, and then now let's talk about all the rest. So for the plebeis, the plebs are almost held in the place of slaves. So the genitive plural there, serwarum. Um, and the plebeis there is feminine, so that is the antecedent of quai. So the plebeis, the plebs, which, or maybe who, dare nothing through themselves. And then we have uh, ad habitur, um, and, um, and are summoned, or is the, the plebeian uh, group, is summoned to no council. So they don't have any rights, they don't have any representation. Uh, very many of those plebeians, when either by foreign debt, so or debt, or by the magnitude of the tributes that they have to pay, the taxes that they have to pay, all Gauls have to pay, or by an injustice done to them by, or, or literally of a uh, of powerful individuals they are oppressed so when they are oppressed um, either by debt or by the magnitude the largesse of the taxes or or by an injustice of the powerful people themselves into servitude they prescribe so they 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 give themselves over to the servitude to uh, the nobility or they give themselves over to the nobility in servitude uh, among these all the laws are the same so among these men uh, and that is again the plebs all the laws are the same which uh, are um, among slaves in reference to their masters. So in other words, they, they have exactly the, the, the same or really the lack thereof rights as slaves do in the Roman world um, in, in reference to um, their masters. But concerning these two races or these two kinds of people, we got alterum alterum. One is of the Druids. So this is a genitive plural here. The other kind is of the equites, the, the cavalry, the equestrians. Those guys, so when, when we talk about Hick and Ilay, when we have a list of people and we talk about Hick and Ilay, Ilay is the ones, is the group of people that are the farthest from what we just mentioned. So it's those guys. So the equites would be these guys. Um, but those guys, so the Druids, they intersunt, they are sort of among, um, or they are present in or partake in divine affairs, so religious situations, uh, religious affairs. They uh, care for, they take care of, they tend to public and private sacrifices, and they interpret, so interpretor is a deponent verb, they interpret uh, religion stuff, so uh, religious ceremonies, rites, etc. 
And to these men, so we're talking about the, the priests, the Druids, a great number of adolescents, a great number of youth, for the sake of learning, come to them, uh, flock to them, they run to them, they gather. And, and these men are among, among them, the Gauls, a great, uh, great honor here. Hold on a second. Or a great honor. So we have an ablative of description here. 